Why don't you come in my house? It's just been refurbished with scrap metal frames, and y'all start breaking all kind of stuff. And y'all guys get your big metal hats on, and you don't ever have any good loot, and it's it just it's ungrateful. You're bad house guests. guys and gals it's story time with legend eternal and we're here playing seven days to die alpha 16 experimental and we are now in build 129 and guys if you look around no i did not put all these scrap frames up it looks like when build 129 dropped for reasons um it looks like the fun pimps took the where the adobe blocks were and like when in build what was the last build 119 where they were just gone this time they have come back and replaced where they were with these scrap uh scrap metal frames so that's that's a good thing i don't have to worry about my base falling around again it is a little confusing to try to walk around but you know hey we're not going to complain because our base hadn't fallen uh one of the changes that was in 129 was calipers are now gone they uh, were replaced with a crucible, I believe it is, and I think that's what it is. I built one. Yes, a crucible in 119, but the calipers were still there. And so I had, I think, three calipers in this chest. And, well, 129, they ended up just taking the calipers completely out of the game, which is fine, except now I can't get in my chest. So... I'm not sure what all's in there with those calipers. I tried breaking it open off camera, but just I saved the game and tried to break it open and then went back to the game. I restarted it because when I broke it open, what was there was a backpack, like when you die. And it was, I couldn't get in it either. So I reloaded the game and now it's a chest again. Well, looks like we have this. Let's go say hello. Been in a fight because I'm kind of uh oh, uh oh, cornered. Uh oh, now I'm really cornered. Why don't you come in my house? It's just been refurbished with scrap metal frames, and y'all start breaking all kind of stuff. And y'all guys get your big metal hats on, and you don't ever have any good loot, and it's it just it's ungrateful. You're bad house guests. Now that gun. Okay, there goes ooh, two more behind me. Where'd they come from? Ooh, I don't like this toy quarter fighting. All right, who's still alive? You're still alive. No, you're not. And we got a level. Let's see what we got here. Again, you have nothing. You are completely useless. You have nothing. I think you were a biker too. What, does nobody have anything? Not only do you come in here and start making racket all in my house, you don't bring him anything. How rude. But the farmer brought coffee beans. And that's it. Okay, there's a skateboarder's hoodie, which we don't want. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. Dude, you just walked right through that frame. You didn't bump your head? Sorry about that. I don't think I built for people quite as tall as you. Oh, we, you brought beer. Well, good. You know, that's pretty awesome. You know, because if you don't come, at least bring beer. Sorry I had to bash your head in, man. If I'd have known you had beer, I might have let you live. 
Somebody else? Oh, you. You're just late. You gonna wander around in my backyard? Okay, we had a plan. What was it? Oh yeah, I remember. We had to hoard us tomorrow night, and that's gonna be probably our next episode. So, what we need to do is, I've been doing work, guys. Uh, you ran out of wood. I don't know that. Let's get this stone cooking up. I right. will right, we'll cook that later. So what I've been doing, you see, I've been doing work. We have a couple of stacks and more coming of concrete mix. And we need to go show our toothy some love. What, what, did it get my paint too? Was my paint in here? I don't see it. Let me take one of those just in case. And you go back in here. I don't see my paint. But I left it in here. Okay. What's, it, what's in you? Ooh, feathers. Oh, I forgot I had those. Those might come in handy tomorrow night. But I, I've got probably... How many arrows? 560 over. That'll be plenty. Let's check over here in this chest. Could I put kind of a chest over here with stuff that I really didn't want to lose just in case that building fell? Ah, oh, and there were calipers in there. So I lost all of that stuff. Oh, wow. That is really unfortunate. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I may have to look and see what was in those chests, and I can look back at my previous episode. I may have to spawn a couple items in if they were really, really important, and I lost them because, you know, I normally do not spawn stuff in. I'll actually have to look up how again because I rarely ever do it, but losing something like that to a bug, eh, I think that's warranted. Did I bring my wrench? I did. Oh, let's come over here. And rich. So we need to focus. I think we probably got enough concrete to do all of it. Did I have to wait on that to dry before I upgrade it again? Yes, I do. So we need to come through here and make sure we upgrade the bottom up to the bottom row of teeth and let that dry. And then we'll come back after it dries and we'll go to reinforce assuming we have enough. I think we will. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get started a day early. One, to give this stuff time to dry. Oh, I didn't bring cobblestone. So that's damage. Well, we got to go back. Guys, I will be right back in a second. Okay, guys, we're back. And I've got some cobblestone in me to fix whatever might have been damaged before because I have to fix it with the cobblestone before I can upgrade it. And also, it's, I forgot, I needed the cobblestone anyway because I need to go ahead and upgrade, up, upgrade those two top rows to cobblestone because they're still flagstone. I mean, they're not going to take much damage, but if they do, I want them to have a little bit of hit points, more than just basic flagstone. Cobblestone will probably be fine. But guys, while we're doing this, as we go along doing this, I want to talk to you guys about the channel a little bit. Um, the channel's really growing, and I'm really having a good time with it. And you guys seem to enjoy it, too, and I'm glad that, glad that you are, really glad, because it makes me feel good when you guys talk about it in the comments how much you enjoy it, what you like about it, what you don't. And, I mean, it's, it really makes it worthwhile. And I so appreciate all the likes and all the comments. You know, and not only does it make me feel good, it helps... When you hit the like button and even if you comment um, it does it helps it in the YouTube search algorithm so more people get to see it and the channel gets to grow and that's what I really hope to see I really want to see this channel take off and grow so that we're entertaining more and more people and interfacing with more and more people and that more and more people are enjoying it because you know that's what it's all about I mean you know I'll never make a living at this 
I mean, it's a dream, but then again, everybody picks up a guitar, wants to be a rock star. But, you know, chances are, you never make anything more than maybe the, enough to pay the cable bill for the internet. But anyway, so where was I going with that? Oh, what I was going to say is we kind of branched out a little bit. We started this, it was just all seven days to die. And I love Seven Days to Die. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and had a lot of fun with it. And I started early in Alpha 15. And then played quite a bit of mods. And met a lot of people. Interfaced with a lot of people. Played with a lot of people. You know, me and Billy hooked up and started playing Starvation together. Uh, he actually is the one that got me into recording which you know i'd always been curious about and always wanted to and he kind of you know told me hey it ain't that hard dude just you know download obs and get you an editor and go for it so i did and we've been having a like, good time together recently been playing with zed and heartblade and there's some really good good guys and uh, really just having a good time but anyway again i've got off track what i wanted to discuss with you is right now currently on the channel i put out videos six days a week six mornings a week uh sometimes seven actually lately it's been most of the time seven and kind of the the, the schedule is sundays is multiplayer seven days to die mondays single player seven days to die tuesdays landless wednesday is an open day thursday we go back and do it again multiplayer friday single player saturday landless and that's been working out pretty well and like i said wednesdays generally it's an open day which i kind of have penciled in for a day off you know I, use, I don't have anything that i have to publish that day but i kind of use that day in case there's any real major content updates that come out with any of the games i'm playing or if i find a game that i just kind of want to showcase and do a legends look at i think we did that with community inc um this this past wednesday uh, which you guys seem to like a little bit. A lot of people are interested, but so we're coming up right now. Basically, so you got four, four to five days of seven days to die a week, and then a couple of days of landless and something just random sometimes. And I, I've been really thinking hard about when when Alpha 16 goes stable. Do I want to change that up? I mean. YouTube is kind of saturated with seven days to die lately, especially since Alpha 16 came out. Somebody coming to visit? Yes, you are. You know, I'm trying to work and talk to my people, and you're making a racket, and you didn't bring anything. What is it with these zombies? I mean, I know they said they reduced the loot a little bit, but it's all but eliminated. Anyway, back to what we were saying. So I kind of wanted to run by you guys. You know, maybe we back off of the single player, and have the seven days to die content on the channel be just the multiplayer content that we do um, with Billy Hardblade and Zed. And I kind of wanted to see what you guys think about it and replacing that seven days to die single player slot with something else. You know, I mean, if, if you guys just, uh, you know, go in an uproar, no, 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 you can't take away my seven days to die single player. We love watching you play single player. You know, if that's the case and 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 everybody says that, then, you know, that's fine. We'll keep doing what we're doing because, like I said, you know, I'll play what I want to off camera if you guys don't want to see it. And I'll record what you want to see. That's always been kind of the way I've done things because, you know, I play a lot of things off camera that I don't record when I have time. Uh, but... You know, it, it's all about what what you guys want to see for the entertainment. You know, whether it's entertaining because you enjoy watching or you just like to see me derp. I do quite a bit of that. Oh, okay. Can I jump down without hurting myself? Yes. Okay, come on, people. Dry. Okay, I well, guess we can go. Okay, you see, when I do that, I'm not going to be able to tell what's wet regular concrete and what's wet reinforced concrete so we'll, we'll just run kill zombies while that's drying so i mean you know guys let me know what you think you know or do you kind of want to see a little more variation in the channel you think um think we can live without the single player seven days to die um 
or are you just totally 100% against that? Um, oh, by the way, when I was off camera, I spawned in the paint I'd lost, and I, I had to look and see how to do it because I done forgot. Um, you know, I'm, guys, I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't cheat, and it, the only time I do spawn something in like that is when there is a, a unrecoverable bug like that where I can't get it back. And, um, you know, I'm going to be straight up with you when I do that because I don't ever want to be accused of cheating. And because, I mean, the game's not fun if you cheat. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, it's, 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 it, and really, put your thoughts down there. Even if, you know, even if you don't, you know, don't think your comments matter, they do to me. I, I look and read every comment, and, you know, most of them I respond to. So, let me know what you think. If you do want to see something different on the channel, what do you want to see? Um, I mean, because right now I'm wide open. I mean, I thought about, you know, maybe a Subnautica, but uh, I don't know. Subnautica is, is, is kind of saturated at the moment, too, uh, with a couple of new big updates they have in. I'm playing kind of a single player on the side that I'm not recording and have a lot of fun with it. Um, there's also Subsistence, which is a game that a couple people are playing, but it's really not real widespread. Uh, that would be an option. Uh, I don't know if you guys are... Or interested in seeing that game or not um, uh, one or two of you have mentioned that you want to watch me play raft and I think that is a phenomenal idea but the deal with raft right now is that raft is raft is an esteem game or not currently that it's on the itch IO and and that's fine I mean I'm not married to steam games by any means however the um, the devs put out put out a note not long ago. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade these. I would need to tell what they are. Um, that they were gonna not gonna update anymore because they were gonna focus on getting the game to Steam. And so, kind of what I was thinking is, yes, I want to do a raft series for you guys, especially since you're asking for it. But I want to wait till it's on Steam so that. You know, one, I don't have to, I don't know if I would have to restart if they moved it, but it's possible, and I certainly don't want to get in the middle of a series. Now, okay, guys, now let's do it again, because um, I really don't like to restart. I mean, I know we'd have to if we stayed with uh, Seven Days to Die single player, or multiplayer for that matter, which we're going to stick with multiplayer, because we're having a good time, and you guys seem to enjoy it. But, um, and so, I, I, my intention is to do a series on Raft, and it'll take up one of those slots two times a week, maybe three, when it goes to Steam. But I don't really don't want to start that before it goes to Steam. And so, you know, let me know is, um, you know, just talk to me about what you want to see. You know, if you got any ideas, you know, just because you put an idea down there don't mean they're going to do it. If everybody puts an idea down, the same idea down there, yeah, I'll more than likely do it. But, uh, you know, I want it to be something, one, that I enjoy playing, and two, that you guys enjoy watching, because that's what matters, right? Because if I go through the trouble of recording, editing, rendering, uploading, and, and all the stuff that goes with getting something on YouTube... I definitely want it to be something you guys want to want to watch and enjoy watching because otherwise, what's the point? I can play it on my own. But and you know, maybe all this is a moot point. Maybe you guys want to, want me to stay with the single player seven days to die, and that's fine if that's what you what you want and that's what everybody says. Then that's what we'll do because I certainly enjoy playing it. What have we, have we rated the? Have we been in the army base on this game? We got an inventory room? Not much. What we need to do is go ahead and put our chest up for a hoard. Oh, we're going to need torches too. Well, we can do that tomorrow. Make one more. And this is what we're going to dump our... 
Really? Oh no, do not go there. Crap, now I'm gonna have to break that. This is what we're gonna dump our loot in during Lord Night. You know, we're, we're the the great thing about this base, just like with the Shark Cage, is we can loot on the fly. Oh, dang. okay, that'll work. And we don't have to worry about losing our loot as long as they don't pile up on each other and break their break their bodies you know, like that wandering horde did. But we can spread them out and try to kind of minimize that. So if I go away from you and you are you going to unrender and not dry? Probably. So again, that was a long old tirade or not tirade, but speech about the future of the channel once seven days to die go alpha 16 go stable please guys oh man your arms are so long but yeah let me know what you think because it, it really does matter to me and i um, you know I, I i want you guys to be happy i want you guys to enjoy it yeah, it's going to unrender and not dry. We can, we, we really need to kind of stick with what we're doing. We can loot this car. We can wrench this car. Give me a good motor. Wait. Oh, 583. Sweet. So if we ever find a mini bike, but we are golden. That is super dope. Sometimes it pays just to stop and do something random like that, huh? Oh, now we're getting hot. I wish they would fix the temperature in this game. Supposedly they fixed that with Alpha 119, kind of slowed down the temperature swings. But I think they need to take that a little, uh, couple of steps further because that gum, my guy's hot and cold all the time. Ooh, there's some more dry. I guess it was dry when we were away from it. Okay, yeah, I can. Kind of hard to. Okay, ooh, not that. Okay, I can tell with my light off. Okay, let's go dark some of this stuff off. Ooh, I wonder if that engine was in that other chest. Well, that's fine. We got a we got a uh, uh, cool uh, good engine, so that'll be fine. If even if it wasn't the chest. Dang, I wonder what all I lost. I'm definitely gonna go have got to go back and watch my last. Oh my god, that scared me to death. Where are you at? I hear you this way. Oh, there she is. Did you break my stupid water? Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know how he didn't hit me. Uh-oh. Ah, we're getting beat up. Oh, I'll look at you in night vision. <laughs> so what's in there? Are y'all done filling the hole? What, why is this water here? Oh, was this from when 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 my Adobe disappeared? Ah, oh, treasure map. I dropped some stuff. I can combine some stuff. Okay, is that everybody? Don't want that. Let's just check. See what we need. May need to 
get off of them before they despawn. Mechanical parts, crap you. We're doing good with mechanical parts, or were before that chest. I think my mechanical parts were on that stupid chest too. I'm uh, definitely going to have to go back. I'm going to have to spend some time and recover some of the things I lost in that chest. Okay. Now let's go dump stuff. Yeah, I'm not surprised, even though I sounded real surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised that Screamer spawned because I have had these two forges up here running non-stop for like two game days. And I even sometimes I have a campfire going too. Oh... No, my mechanical parts weren't in there, were they? Nope, they were in this chest. Dang, I hate that. But that's part of experimental. We know it's gonna happen, but we play anyway because we love this game. You go, you go. Got some beer for Horde Night. That's pretty nice. Why don't you take a... <sighs> Follow up with a couple of sips of water. You hungry? Now we'll save eating until that painkiller is finished with its healing effect. So we can stretch out that healing as much as possible. Alrighty then, so let's go back and see if more stuff is dried. Man, that screamer scared me. Have I seen a screamer yet in this game? Was that my first? Ooh, nice. We're about all dry. Loving it, loving it. There we go. Oh yeah. How much have we got left? Ooh, doggy. Good thing we prioritized on these bottom, because just these three rows looks like it's gonna take up about two stacks of cement. And we're not even quite done yet, we're down to 240. But that's why we made so much. And then we should have at least a stack left to repair with during Horde Night. I'm not real worried. These are not going to take much damage, at least for the for this Horde. When cops come around, by the time cops come around, we're definitely going to need to have we need something to shoot down from. By the time cops come around, we need to have all this reinforced up here. Because they will take damage from cop spit. Ah, now, right now, again, I'm doing this just for this wood frames until I get, um, <clears throat> until I get enough concrete, because I'll come back with concrete quarter blocks and make a little ring I can shoot through. Or maybe I'll do arm, iron bars. I mean, yeah, it's expensive. That's a heap of iron to do. That probably takes about 40 iron bars, and that's 4,000 iron. And, yeah, that's, that's all kind of expensive. But, you know what? That's what it's there for. Not like we're going to be in this game a long, long time. We'll burn it while we got it. So I'll keep cooking. I may have enough to do this tomorrow because I'll do stage 14 off camera and bring you guys back um, <clears throat> for the actual horde. And we're going to see Toothy in action. And kind of as we wrap up this episode, because we're pushing up on 30 minutes, let me kind of show you why. I was worried about paint. Paint all sides. We're bringing back Adobe. Yeah, fun pimps. I'm making my whole toothy Adobe. 
You take my adobe blocks away, I'll bring it right back. And the zombies will come up here, they'll think, ooh, that's just adobe, I'll hack right through that. No, no, zombies. That's reinforced. Dadgummit, I didn't mean to paint that. Can I wipe that off? Ooh, I sure can. We are going to have an adobe toothy. How much paint is that using up? That doesn't seem to be using paint. That's a glitch. That's right. Adobe Toothy for the win. We're only going to paint the ones that are totally... I ah, missed it again. Or that are totally... Well... Hang on, I better wipe that off. We're only going to paint the ones that are dried and complete. So we know what to paint. Oh, hell, I missed one. What did I paint? I painted something over there. Hopefully it's dry. I'm going to have to wipe off and figure that out. No, not you. I love that you can wipe it off. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I hear another screamer. Oh, we have seen a screamer before in this game because I remember she spawned over in there when we were building Tootsie. I triggered that little memory. Was that done? Was that done? Yes, you were all done. I could have sworn I accidentally hit one. Okay, paint them again. We just had to wipe them off and make sure they were completely upgraded. Because we don't want a weak point that we can't see. So yes, we are bringing back Adobe, and we're doing it with a toothy. This is gonna be awesome. Nice. Let's go kill her. Oh, I thought you were in there. Okay, we got company. Now we're bleeding out. And infected. Oh, airdrop, where you at? Oh, you're way over there. Oh, you're, oh, dude, I was looking at something. That gun, y'all are... Did you bring antibiotics by any chance? Ooh, I'm still bleeding. Oh, wow. another level looks like one thing they did in 129 is they said they upped the experience from killing zombies which yeah, looks like that was actually the case so nice 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 all right guys that's gonna do it for today I'm gonna let this finish drying and paint it up the rest of the way on camera off camera rather and when you come back we will be on the verge of a a 14 day horde and we will do it in an adobe toothy but guys thank y'all for watching i appreciate you being here don't forget what i talked about earlier and to put your thoughts down in the comments because it'll really help me in in planning the, the near future in this channel and i love to hear what you guys have to say thank you so much for watching thank you for your likes thank you for your shares thank you for your comments this is the end for legend much love and have a happily ever after. And we will see you in the next chapter. Bye now.